Hey guys, this is Kelly from Nice Lady Productions. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. We're going to be looking at the iFootage M13 Mini Crane. If you're not familiar with iFootage, they make the very popular super smooth shark slider. I think of this mini crane as sort of solving one of the issues with smaller jibs on the market, which is they max out as far as how much payload they can handle, or they end up being heavy themselves. So the nice thing about this mini jib arm is it is made from carbon fiber and it's 100% toolless. So you can take it out in this nice case with all of its components, put it together very quickly and be capturing the shot you want to get. You get everything you need right here in the bag and it's a great little carrying case. It comes with a handle as well as a shoulder strap. So the crane can mount to a flat tripod head like this half ball adapter that I have from Manfrotto. Or you can mount it to a set of sticks with the 75 millimeter bowl. How far you extend it out the front and how far you extend it out the back totally depends on how much weight you're putting on it and the camera. You want it to be level when you're done so that you're not fighting uh, the weights on the back or the camera weight on the front. When you're operating the crane, you're either going to be operating right from the head where your camera is mounted or from where it meets the tripod, you're not going to be shooting from the back because as you can see, it's just a pole coming out the back for the weights. I footage sells a water bag as a separate accessory. What I love about this is it doesn't add to the weight of your kit. So, you know, you can get to the location and fill it with water. So the water bag equals about 10 pounds of weight. If you're using a camera setup that doesn't need those whole 10 pounds, you can fill it halfway or three quarters and you can kind of have that exact amount of weight that you want on the back. It comes with a couple clamps. You put one on the front, one on the back, and it has a carabiner in the case if you want to attach that to the end to prevent those clamps from coming off just as a safeguard. I don't normally use sandbags with the tripod. If I do, I use one. I just try and put the extended part of the crane over the leg of my tripod and I find it just makes it more sturdy to begin with. The only thing I would say is you do need to practice. I found that with this crane, it is stiff, but there is some wobble in the image if you're not super smooth with it. This crane has some really cool tilting features and they're built in three parts of the jib. One of the tilting features is near the head where you mount your camera. And as you loosen the clamp, you can change the tilt drastically. Now I'd only make this change before you mount your camera because once you mount your camera, things get heavy and it's very easy if you're not holding on to the head where your camera is to get your hand caught in this. And then there's two other areas to change the tilt where you mount it near the tripod sticks. And that is a stepped tilt. Now, once you've made those more extreme adjustments, you can fine tune that tilt by just loosening or tightening uh, the amount on this bar. So you can mount your camera to a tiny quick release plate. It doesn't have any rubber or anything on it. Or you can attach your camera to uh, the sturdier mount that's behind the 75 millimeter bowl or add a tripod head with a 75 millimeter bowl. You can see I have the Manfrotto 504 HD head on here. I weighed it and the head is five pounds. So what I ended up doing was on another shoot, I went to the 502 head, which is lighter. And really when you're adding accessories to any crane, you do have to think about weight. And so the lighter, the better or if you're fighting weight, mount the camera directly to the crane. So let's look at my setup here. I have about maybe seven and a half pounds of water in the water bag, and then I've got another 20 pounds on the end. And this is to counter a Red Raven with a battery and the monitor and everything. And really, I would not put anything heavier than this on the iFootage crane. There's something really nice about having a jib and I, I do love the whole sweeping and especially if you're shooting outside, it's just, you can get some really cool epic shots. And of course, I don't really need to sell you on a jib because you see any film that uses one and you know why they're so cool to have. Thanks for joining me for this review. If you didn't hate it, 
consider subscribing to my channel. And of course, I love reading your comments.